What's up guys, Spin Firearms here, and today we're going to talk about the one firearm that I really liked that will probably surprise you guys. I wish I still had it, but I traded it in. So it was a Ruger EC9S. Now, I've had mixed feelings on Ruger for a long time. I've had some firearms that I really enjoyed from them. I've also had firearms that I didn't have a good experience with. But one I did was the Ruger EC9S. Now that's the economy version of the LC9S. The LC9S comes with like really nice sights, really nice trigger. Whereas the EC9S has a little bit of a long trigger, but for a pocket carry pistol, I'm not going to complain about that. But it was crisp and it was a clean break. Also, the sights were just regular blacked out rear sights that I think were part of the slide. Don't, you know, don't quote me on that, but I think they're part of the slide. Anyways, it's one of the thinnest single stacks out there. So it's 7 plus 1 with the flush base plate. It felt really good in the hand to throw a whole grip on it with an 8 or a 9 round mag. The thing felt great, fit in your pocket, and also I had the light laser combo for it. So I had this mini setup that even though it's you know considered a budget firearm and stuff like that, it was reliable. That thing ran through like 4,500 rounds, 5,000 rounds, and then I moved on because double stacks and you know, all that stuff, start, stuff started coming out. The micro 9s, all that. But I really actually enjoy this firearm. Wish I didn't get rid of it. I started, and the reason why I did is I started listening to other people about capacity and stuff like that. And I, and I get that. But to be honest, I felt completely comfortable with it, and I shot it so good. For the average person picking up the trigger, they would say, eh, this isn't the greatest. But it just shot so smooth, and it had very limited recoil. Now, if you shot the Ruger Max 9, which is basically Ruger's version of the Hellcat or the P365, you'll notice for some reason that firearm has a lot more recoil than the other Micro 9s. A lot of people get on Springfield about the Hellcat being snappy. Go shoot the Ruger Max 9. It's like there's this unnecessary recoil to it. Now, can it, is it manageable? Yes. Can it, is it, can it be handled? Yes. When you go back and look at the film of yourself shooting it, does it look as bad as it is? No. But it feels that way. I don't know if you guys have ever shot a firearm where it just... Something was weird about it, and that recoil like ended up hurting your finger on the trigger. Like Obviously, you're not in a ton of pain, but you would notice while shooting your finger... From recoil and that you know how things you know the firearm is jumping up is getting your finger. I don't know if you've ever had that. I've only had it a couple times, and one was the Max 9. But when they worked on the EC9S, which came way before, that thing handled recoil like crazy. Less recoil than a 43, an XDS, even less re or probably about the same as an FN 503. Maybe the FN 503 is less recoil, um, but felt good in the hand. And yeah, and I bet you guys will be surprised, but yeah, it was genuinely a good firearm that ran. And that's the thing about Ruger. They will give you everything you need to have a reliable firearm, but they're never going to just go over and above. Like, they're just like, you know, for the working man, a good, reliable firearm you can trust, but doesn't have all the bells and whistles. And honestly, I like the EC9S. So if you have 250, looking for a pocket pistol, looking for something that can go from 7 plus 1 to 9 plus 1, really ergonomic, super thin, it's a great firearm. Even in the age of double stack 9s, I know there's all the hype about micro 9s and stuff. But there still are great other options out there that you can feel comfortable with and that are great shooters. You just don't hear people talk about them. That's why you don't see anybody carry an FN-503. You don't hear anybody talk about the FN-503. Um, if you type an FN-503 review and stuff like that, you'll get some. And then you'll start coming across all my videos talking about it. And it's because it's such a smooth shooter. When we went over to the double stack micro 9s, everyone jumped over there because of capacity. But what they didn't realize is that um, there's firearms that are better shooting for that size, which might actually help you get better shots on target rather than needing to rely on the extra capacity, if that makes sense. Um, but can't complain. Um, liked it. Would I get it again? Honestly, yeah, because it honestly would bring back good memories of early beginning carry when I had the XD, I had the EC9S, you know, I had the Ruger SR9C. I had a bunch of firearms that I was still getting into it and learning all it, you know, a while ago. And those were all solid firearms. Um, but yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think.